Good morning. Our Eucharist this morning is offered for the intentions from here at Assumption Church for the repose of the soul of June McGee, for all the souls in purgatory, and for the living and deceased members of the Dagenet, Rosec, Grant, and Dent families. At St. Alphonsus, this Mass is offered for, or from St. Alphonsus, this Mass is offered for the intentions of the repose of the soul of Lucien Robitale, the repose of the soul of Bill Robinson, and the repose of the soul of Amelita Pangan, and at St. Angela Marici, Fathers Vince and Adriano are praying for Giuseppe Landa. Our entrance antiphon for this morning, if you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of Peter. Beloved, what sort of person should you be waiting for and earnestly desiring the coming of the day of God because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved and the elements will melt with fire? But in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth where righteousness is our home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace, without spot or blemish, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. You, therefore, beloved, since you were forewarned, Beware that you are not carried away with the error of the lawless and lose your own stability, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O, o Lord, Lord, you, you have, have been, been our, our refuge. refuge. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In, in every, every age, age, O Lord, Lord you, you have, have been, been our refuge. refuge. You turn us back to dust and say, Turn back, you mortals, for a thousand years in your sight, or like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. In, in every, every age, age, O Lord, Lord you, you have, have been, been our refuge. refuge. The days of our life are seventy years, or perhaps eighty if we are strong. Even then their span is only toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. In, In every, every age, O Lord, Lord, 
you, you have, have been, been our, our refuge. refuge. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Let your work be manifest to your servants and your glorious power to their children. In, In every, every age, age O Lord, Lord, you, you have, have been, been our, our refuge. refuge. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our heart that we might see how great is the hope to which we are called. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Some Pharisees and some Herodians were sent to Jesus to trap him in what he said. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know you are sincere and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, Jesus said to them, Why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius and let me see it. And they brought one. Then he said to them, Whose head is this and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Jesus said to them, Give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's and to God the things that are God's. And they were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's always a common theme in the Gospels with the Pharisees and, and all those other people, and that's that they're trying to trap Jesus. And they're hoping that he's going to give a black and white answer to a question that they proposed to him. And in today's case, they think, oh, we've got him now. Because if he says that we shouldn't pay taxes, then we can report him to the Romans for trying to rise up and to lead an insurrection from the people against the government. And if he says that we should pay taxes, then we can get him on religious grounds because he's, obeying, he's disobeying the commands of God. And of course, Jesus sees right through that, and he sees right through this flattery that they heap on him. And you can almost sense like this, this cunning in the words that they use because they say, you know, we know that you're sincere. We know that you don't regard people with partiality. And it, he's, you can almost see Jesus or at least this is my picture, rolling his eyes at them and being like, just get to the point. You know, don't, don't try to put all these empty words out there because I know what you're trying to do. And, he gives, and of course, in typical Jesus fashion, when he does answer their question, he doesn't give them that black or white answer that they wanted. He says, well, give to the emperor what belongs to the emperor, and give to God what belongs to God. And so he's kind of right in that middle, in that gray area of saying, you know, well, it's kind of a both and. It's not either or. And there's a lot of things about our faith and about our life that are exactly in those in-between areas as well. I think we would like it, and I know I would, 
if everything could just simply be black and white and it was always either this way or that way and no in between. But our life of faith and our life in this world, unfortunately, fortunately or unfortunately, doesn't work that way. And so we always have to be willing to look for those in-between areas, to look for those places where maybe God is calling us to be present in the difficulties, in the uncertainties, in those places where there is not a clear-cut answer to our questions and our problems. And the more that we can be present in those moments, the more that we can invite God into that uncertainty, then we can truly see how to be present to others and how we are being called to do as Jesus does, to give to the world, or as Jesus tells us to do, to give to the world what belongs to the world and give to God what belongs to God. And above all, we know when we give due honor and glory to God, that we are seeking to bring his healing and reconciliation into the world. Healing and reconciliation that are greatly needed at this time in our history. And so, my brothers and sisters, we turn to our loving God now and we offer him our prayers and our petitions. We pray for our church throughout the world, for Pope Francis, our bishops, all the clergy and all the laity, that the Spirit of God may continue to strengthen us in our mission to serve the gospel of Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray that the Lord may send his spirit of wisdom upon civil leaders and elected officials so that they might continue to wisely shepherd their people through this time of pandemic, but also this time of civil unrest, especially in the United States. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are sick and suffering, especially those suffering from the effects of the COVID-19 virus. That the, for their caregivers, their families, and friends. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who have died. We pray for consolation for their families and friends, and that the Lord may welcome all the departed into his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. We pray especially again for all of the intentions that this Mass is being offered for, all those names which were read off as we started Mass. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And let us take a moment to call to mind those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, to you we make our prayers and petitions, trusting that you will hear and answer them according to your will, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God
mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Lord. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Cleanse me, O Lord, from my iniquities, and wash me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy and ministers of your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the, the sins of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
our communion antiphon. The rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.